Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to Warzone video for you guys on chill today. But in today's video, I'm going to give you guys my best Warzone settings to be running in Season 1 of the game right now. You guys all been asking for this. Yes, they, they use for console. You can use this for MW3. It's all the same. I'm going to give you guys my audio settings, video settings, graphic settings, anything you need in today's video. We're all going to be covering today. Let's go and hop into it. But listen, if you guys are not subscribed to this YouTube channel with notifications turned on, make sure to do so. We're on the grind of 10,000 subscribers, guys. We're getting closer and closer every single day. Hey guys, listen, we go live on Twitch every single day. Wani FPS, drop a follow. We're on our way to 500 followers over there, and that's where you can catch all these videos live right there on stream. Before we get into today's class, I just want to quickly say I enjoy all the support you guys have given me on the channel recently. I love y'all, and I appreciate you guys so much. Let's get into today's class setup and a banger video. Peace. All right, guys, we're going to be starting up with our controller settings in today's setting video. Listen, we do play a controller for our inputs. Now, all of my settings are all customized to me, and honestly, they might help you guys out as well. So all my controller players, my console players, my PC players, these are all going to be the same for all of you. So listen, for controller inputs, this is the most you know important first step. Don't have controller vibration on. That's not going to help you at all. Now, for dead zone inputs. Now, for my left stick minimum, we like to put that at zero. That's going to actually really increase the sensitivity of your left stick well also with the right stick we do the same thing as well now when it comes to left stick max put that to 15 you're gonna find that your movement in your left stick's gonna be more fluent and you're gonna be a lot faster around the map now for the right stick max that's a 95 i don't really notice much of a difference with that i don't really mess with that too much but the left trigger and the right trigger definitely have those set to zero now when it comes to the aiming for horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity these are all customized to me but i do want to tell you guys something that's really important if you press show more you guys are going to see advanced horizontal horizontal and stick sensitivity you're going to see the same thing for the vertical section make sure you put those down to 1.0 and to do that you're going to have to go to custom and put those down and then you can go in and put your you know desired actual sensitivity but listen i run a 1010 i think you know you need to be breaking cameras there's some people that even run higher than a 1010 but i'm gonna show you guys today how you can run a fast high sensitivity but also get a good aim in the game now this is only part of the sauce now we're gonna scroll down here as far as my aim curve response we got the dynamic i think dynamic's the best one right now it's always been used since it's been in the game since modern warfare 2019 by really pros and everybody pretty much just has a reverse s curve whatever really that means i just know that my aim is more fine-tuned now uh as far as my custom sensitivity per zoom this is really where you have to dial your own numbers now these numbers work for me i can tell you guys what all streamers normally you know universally do use they usually use 0.80 on all of these and if you're somebody that has never messed with custom sensitivity per zoom i would advise you put these to 0.80 but if you do want to copy my settings i run a 0.60 on my first two primarily long gun engagements are normally used with the 2x 3x zoom site if i'm using a sniper i'm gonna want a little bit more of that fluidity in my right stick meaning i want to be a little bit faster jerking around and looking around that's gonna help me even more so this you got to play with but these are my settings for custom per zoom i advise you do mess with this in custom games because that's how i find to my controller and everything now as far as target aim assist i play on black ops i do have aim assist on you should have aim assist on if you turn off aim assist i think you might be a little bit crazy now uh as far as everything else uh motion sensor behavior off uh motions you know, all that stuff's off so as far as gameplay we got automatic tactical sprint on um i don't really i, I don't really have like everything's kind of basic i never really messed with this section at all I would say the key things that I would switch is automatic tax sprint to on slide slash die behavior slide only. That's what everybody's running right now. It seems to be the best. Um, make sure sprinting door bash is on too. I had that off. You're going to want that on. As far as everything else goes in this section, it's pretty much the same. Uh, these two interact reload behavior, prioritize and interact. Um, pretty much just means you tap to reload and hold something to pick something up. And I just have my armor plate to apply all. But these are my controller settings. <coughs> in okay but these are my controller settings in warzone and in w3 right now but listen now that you guys got this let's go and rotate over to the graphics now guys coming in with the graphics i um i do have a 4090 pc build with a um intel i9 13900k so this might vary by build but hey this should help you guys out because i don't run anything on high anyways so we do run full screen borderless. I do have three monitors, which I do like to rotate through the day on both Twitch streams and obviously TikTok. So 
you know, we do like to have that full screen borderless on. Uh, that's my GPU. I have a custom frame rate of 240. That's what my monitor can hold. We got the Predator. Um, as far as the aspect resolution, make sure you put that automatic. I do play in 1080p. Brightness, I like to put that to a 60. I like to see my enemies. Anybody who runs a 50 or 40, you're kind of nuts. Now, for the uh, other stuff, I like to do eco mode. This is so important. For those of you guys who are losing frames in Warzone specifically, make sure this is on custom. You turn these two off, uh, VSync gameplay and VSync menus, turn those off. For custom frame rate, um, this is all what your GPU and your CPU can handle. Um, mine can definitely go above 250 in Warzone and NW3, but it's a cap because that's my monitor cap rate. So whatever your monitor is, you know, cap that, just make sure you run that so you don't really strain your PC and just you're not running too much. Now, anybody who does want to use Unlimited, don't worry, it's not actually helping you. You're better off capping that all the time to get the best performance. You're just going to get the best gameplay possible. There's going to be no hitching and your game's going to run super smooth. Yeah, trust me on that one. Listen, for high dynamic range, HDR, I got that off. You don't want that on for frames purposes. For quality, make sure you set this to custom. If you want to copy my settings, feel free to. Now, for the upscaling sharpening, we got the Fidelity uh, Cast at 100. Uh, VRAM scale, target 90. Uh, vibrate rate shading. I don't even know what this is. I turned this off. I didn't even know this was in the game until recently, and I saw it. Um, that's all for me. Texture resolution, low. Uh, texture filter, low. Off, low. I'm just going to tell you guys all lows and off, and you guys just kind of copy me. So... We're going to start with texture and let's keep going down. All right, low, low, off, low, low, off, off, high. Make sure high qu shader quality is high because that's the shaders of your game. You're going to want that. Off, normal. Now, all this is going to be pretty good for you in Warzone, keeping you the best FPS. Low, off, 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 low, off, low, off, off, off. There you go, off. That, that's the quickest way to do this section. Like, everything's usually off and put everything to low, right? And if you see something where you're like, I don't want this in the game, like you don't need tessellation, you don't need um, volumetric quality, you don't need deferred physics quality, who fucking cares? We're playing Warzone with the boys. We don't even need weather grid volumes or water quality. Who looks at the water while playing the game in Warzone? I don't, I don't even know. Now for the view section, listen, field of view is 120. Um, ADS field of view affected. Do not play on independent affected pretty much brings out that visual recoil do not run a in, you know the independent bro it's trash now for the weapon field of view we got wide uh pretty much makes my you know gun look a little bit smaller i don't really notice a difference but i like it uh everything else motion blur off weapon motion blur off if you run any of these you are insane fill of grade zero um these are important too first person camera movement uh 50. this actually does bring down some of that movement and that little sickness you might get by looking at the game um inverted flashbang i keep that off as well now these are all my pc settings and some of these you will see in your console settings as well make sure to copy these down let's get into our last section and that's going to be audio all right guys now with the audio settings these are going to be a little bit skewered because i am on pc and i do have a double pc setup but for my console people and my you know my regular pc players of a one pc i'm gonna help you guys out and just show you guys what i would normally run now for the audio mix I do run headphone bass boost, but I've been told recently that the home theater helps out a lot more. I do run that, and I'm not going to lie, it has been a lot better. Now, for the master volume, you're going to want to put this at at least a 75, um, and you can obviously customize that in. I run a 30, also because everything is like so fine-tuned in my PC. So, I'm just going to give you guys these settings to run. 74 is really good, not too loud, not too low, and it's good for the ears. Make sure to put that gameplay music to zero. Um, make sure dialogue's at 100, effects at 100, voice chat 100. You got to hear the death comms and everything else is zero. I don't like to hear the war, war zone tracks. I think it's terrible. You don't even need it. All right, now, so we're going to scroll down now. Uh, voice chat on, all lobbies on. I like to have all the voice chat stuff on. Listen, I like to hear the, you know, the voice chat. I think it's important. All right, now, microphone level 100, subtitles I don't use. I don't I don't know anybody. If you use subtitles, you're like a different breed of a, of a person. Like, I'm, I'm not going to lie. You you might be. Um, everything else is kind of off, and I never really touched the rest of this section. But since we're in this section, let's just hover over to the interface really quick. I know some of you guys do like to know the color customization settings. Now, usually, we just run default. Um, nothing really crazy here. Filter 2. Make sure color filter is on both world and interface. I mean, you're getting more color out of your game. It turned up world color intensity and interface color intensity as well. 
and other thing lastly for my pc players um or console make sure crosshair is always on some people don't have this on that's really important to have on now for the lastly for my pc players i do have my fps counter on my server latency on these are all really important things you want to make sure you're monitoring your gpu temps and you also know where your pc is sitting at when playing the game you don't want it crashing on you or overheating or just hitching you want to make sure it's in a good safe spot when you're playing the game but guys these are my warzone 2 and mw3 settings right now that you guys can be using in season one right now but listen this video a lot of you guys have been asking for it these do work for mw3 as well and warzone they're the exact same they're gonna run the exact same well i'm actually live they're not gonna run the exact same mw3 will run better than warzone but warzone might run a little bit worse than mw3 it's a bigger map but anyways you guys listen hope you guys enjoyed today's video drop a like if you guys did drop 100 likes on this video comment down below are these days helpful hope they help you out catch y'all later peace